Hello and welcome back to Hadrosat Info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI on Samsung Galaxy S25 Plus. Let's begin. The new One UI 7 and the new uh, S25 uh, phones, Samsung phones, obviously, have many AI features. We can see a nice list of them if we go to the settings and here to Galaxy AI. Uh, obviously, in order to like use it and show it, you will have to be logged in into your Samsung account. But we have nice looking list of basically everything we have AI related on this phone. Let's begin with something easy. Let's say our wallpaper. Currently, it's the default one. It's pretty boring, honestly. So let's change it to something AI generated. So we want to go into settings. And now I want to scroll down a little and go to wallpaper and style or in the home screen we can just press and hold our button, our finger as an empty space in order to go into uh, the wallpaper and style from here. And now, uh, sorry for the pause, uh, and now all you want to do is just go to the change wallpapers and if we scroll down we'll see create with AI. Now we have two options here. Uh, first one is the photo ambient and as you can see it works the best if you like take a photo of outdoor during the day and then the photo ambient will automatically change the background uh, to fit whatever is going on outside right now. So if it's dark and it's snowing it will be dark and snowing. However we'll use generative instead as this will create something entirely new from scratch. We have a few different options to choose from. Uh, I will choose imaginary since it's the wildest one. And in the imaginary we can basically choose three different options. We can choose a surreal what made of what in shades of what. So let's change the lamp to well well well. Let's change the lamp to a boat. Let's change that it's made not from flowers, but instead from the wool. And instead of pink and purple, it will be in green and teal. As I really like the color green. Now I simply hit generate. And after a moment we should receive four different versions of the generated wallpaper. I think this one looks the best, uh, as it is pretty symmetrical. Now, I'll, now all I have to do is simply press set. And let's say we want to check only for the lock screen. We hit done. And now we can do it once again. So let's go to change wallpapers and go back to generative. And this time let's do something else. For example, painting. As you can see here, we have a different uh, different uh, prompt. Uh, we can change the painting off and what else uh, in the what style. So let's set something like, oh, we have a much larger uh, list of prompts here. So let's pick volcano. And the nothing else is pretty cool. So let's say hot air balloons in the and here we have oh do we have a pretty interesting way hmm. let's go with classicist and now let's hit generate and we also should receive four different modes or options uh, for us to choose from. And they're looking pretty good. Oh, actually, those are only three options. And I think that this one looks the best. Though all of these are pretty funny. So let's hit set. And this one, let's set to home screen instead. Let's hit done. And now we have two different wallpapers made by AI. But obviously, that is not everything that we can do here. So, oh, 
Oh no. The the gentleman. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, as you can see, luckily, uh, we have ability to actually choose between few different options. Though they aren't very polite, right? They aren't very gentlemanly. Uh, if you're wondering how I actually enabled this option uh, for us to see uh, the prompts, well, I can just click whenever you want, but that's not very gentlemanly, isn't it? Uh, let's go back to the settings and let's see our little uh, Galaxy AI. As you can see here, we have writing assist, uh, which is currently turned off. Let's turn it on. And now uh, we should see a bunch of different options, especially the AI button, which should give us a few different... Uh, well, yeah, we may try to write a response, though I'm too scared that I actually can, you know, send it by accident when it's not finished. So instead, let's go back to the notes, uh, which are right here, and let's create a new notes. Called it uh, a test response. So now we can try to uh, write something very similar. Um, well, oh my goodness, I have no idea how to respond. Uh, let's say, yeah, uh, let's meet whenever your available. Though I am not sure if I wrote that correctly. So let's hit the AI button. If you don't see it, then you want to probably enable uh, back in the AI the note assist. As you see, currently it is on. So now let's click the AI button once again. And here we have ability to check our spelling and grammar. So let's hit that. We can hit show corrections. Oh, I did make a mistake. Well, good that we can just click replace. And now my mistakes are gone. So let's copy it. Oh, let's actually uh, select it once again. And let's copy it. Oh, okay, let's go back to our chat with the gentleman. Now we can copy and paste it. Though I'm still not sure if it's in, you know, the right type uh, of the answer. So let's hit the AI button once again. Uh, if you don't see it, then you probably need to go back to your AI options. And in here, we want to go to writing assist and enable it as well. Though we did that in a moment, in uh, a moment. A moment ago, sorry. So now we want to go to uh, the AI button. And here we have few different options. Uh, because we want to make it so well. Uh, my message is actually more gentlemanly, more official. We can go to the writing style. And here we can see, oh, how good. Now we can just press the professional. So instead of, yeah, let's meet whenever you're available. Uh, we can say, please let me know your availability for a meeting. That's much better. So now let's simply click replace. And now we can send it. Whew, I thought I was cooked here for a moment. But luckily the AI comes with help. And obviously that is still not enough. Because now I have to, well, try to practice for what I'm going to speak about. I have to practice my English too. Maybe he's speaking British. Oh God, that's so scary. Let's try and record something. So let's go back to our uh, home screen and go to the voice recorder. As you can see here, we have the FNAF lore. I am not going to talk about the FNAF lore with the gentleman. Obviously, I'm going to talk about something much more serious, like politics. And taxes and yeah so let's hit record 
And now I can basically overthink what I want to talk with the gentleman. Now, the gentleman is a very serious person and honestly, I'm pretty scared of it. Like, not much, it's just a guy in uniform with a mustache and probably like top hat and is probably living in like this big mansion. Uh, oh. Oh, I am. Oh, I am not ready for this meeting, am I? I have. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about with him. And oh goodness. Oh, I am so stressed right now. Oh no. And now we can basically basically name it whatever we want. Let's call it overthinking. And let's hit save. So now we can use AI to actually make a transcription of it. And all we have to do is simply click it and hit transcribe. Uh, if you don't see this option, then you might want to check out if in the Galaxy AI you have the transcript assist. Uh, as, well, it should be automatically on, though the auto detect language isn't working that much. When I try to transcribe, it will always it always asks me if I want to select the language. I'm going to choose English, of course. And now uh, I can see my little uh, transcription. So, as you can see, yeah, the yeah the transcription is very nice, um, but it's pretty long. Like I talked for a long time. So we can create a summary also using Galaxy AI. Let's hit summary. And as you can see here, we have the summary. Upcoming meeting jitters. Anticipation of a conversation with a formal individual. Concerns about the meeting's formality and the individual serious the menor. I don't even know how to spell it. God damn it. Uncertainty and stress regarding the meeting's topic and preparation. And we even have we even have some keywords. Uh, this thing is pretty important and very useful, especially when you're like recording class, uh, when you're like at school or at university and you're recording a pretty long uh, lesson and you can just hit transcript, then you can hit summary and you should have a nice summary of the lesson. And that reminds me, I can talk about the school system and the education with the gentleman. I'm a genius. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, I need to get going with the gentleman. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, I hope you learned something about AI on the Samsung and now we know how to use it uh, in very various situations. And yeah, I need to go get dressed. With the gentleman. I don't think I have a suit. God damn it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.